for today's DIY, we're going to be making a fun wall art piece. Here's what you're going to need. Different size plastic bins, white linen fabric at whatever size you want to make your project. You can get liquid fabric dye. I'm using these two different colors, so you can use however many different colors you want. Some salt, weird I know, but for some reason it says on the back of the package to use salt. So if yours doesn't say salt, you don't need salt, but mine says salt. A pair of scissors, a dowel, which is like a stick, glorified stick. You could just use a stick if you really want to. Hot glue gun, and some gloves. Oh, and one last thing. You're gonna need some paper towels for this guy because it can get a little messy, okay? Let's get started. I feel like a surgeon. Okay, so first things first, I got all of my different bins here. You wanna make sure you have at least one bin that is wide enough for your fabric when you dip it. You can also fold it into half and dip it that way if you can't get a bucket that's big enough. So I'm gonna add one cup of salt for every three gallons of water. So you gotta do the math, make sure you add it in correctly. Add in a little extra. That's what my mom always does. Have you seen our cooking show? You don't even know how much you're putting in to know if you're putting in enough. You know you're supposed to shake that well, right? Oh, I should mention, you want warm water. It's kind of an important part to this. Then, to my other bucket over here, I'm gonna add some salt again. This is a little bit less water, so a little bit less salt. The first thing you wanna do is soak your cloth as far as you want it to be dyed in clear, clean water first. That way, when you do dip it into the dye, it's a nice, even gradient, and it's not kind of blotchy. I'm gonna put in this beautiful tangerine orange. And to be honest, you wanna start really light. You don't wanna have really dark coloring first. That way you can kind of test it, and you can always add more, but you can't take it out. So go with half the bottle, then add more if you'd like. We're gonna take the fabric, and I'm going to dip it all the way in to the length that I want it to be. Something that you can always do that's really smart, have an extra piece of fabric, you can cut little swatches off, and then you can always test the gradient. And you want to dip it in nice and even, that way you get a nice, even line. You never want to just let it sit, you have to keep moving it, that way the dye doesn't settle on the bottom. It takes like 10 minutes, so you kind of have to get an arm workout, moving up and down with it. But that's a good base, that's all I needed to know. For this one, I'm gonna actually do the orange on the top and it's gonna fade into a really deep pink. So I want it to be really, really concentrated. So I'm gonna add more than half. Filling in the orange. Ooh. What if I just dropped it? That would be so awful. The way it looks in the water when it's wet is a lot darker than what it's gonna look like when it's dry. So you kinda want it to be more tinted than maybe you would originally want it. I am going to take this and dip it into my pink because I want the pink to be really rich at the bottom. In the first color, you wanna let it soak for like 10 minutes. The second color, you want it to be more bold because it's gonna be on top of the first color. So that one, you might want to leave it in there a little bit longer. Since you already have a similar color above, you actually can lay it down and allow it just to sit without bobbing as much. But you want to make sure to move the fabric around probably every like two to three minutes. So don't just leave it and then go watch the show. I'm going to lean this because I want the bottom to be really, really saturated. I'm actually going to lean this over into the empty one to let it sit. Once you get your desired color, which I'm really happy with mine, you're gonna go ahead and take it and rinse it out until it washes clear. There's no more color coming out of it. So then you're just gonna hang it up and let it dry. So I can't really rinse it out here, so I'm gonna take it into the kitchen and I will be back. You wanna first wash it in warm water and then once all the dye is out, wash it in cold water. That will really seal the color into the fabric. And again, just continue to rinse it until the water is clear. Then, just hang it out to dry. 
In order to hang this fabric wall art, you guys can either nail it to the wall or you can hot glue a wooden dowel to the top, tie a little bit of string on each side, and hang. If you guys liked this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and click right here and subscribe. If you want to see a few other videos, check this one last week, Dorm Room Decorating. The DIY I did today is another thing you could totally put in your dorm or your apartment or wherever you want that you have a wall. And the Dorm Room Decorating video is awesome. Also, check out our other channel. We have a ropes and design, interior design channel, and that's pretty awesome. My mom is on that channel, she's pretty cool. And I think you're gonna like that video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. How in the world are we gonna get this stuff back to the kitchen? I wouldn't say wait. <sighs> Come on, cameraman.